Hey guys, welcome to this UV mapping tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create UV maps um, and try to make it as simple as possible and uh, show you all the ins and outs and the do's and don'ts and, and show you some examples to try to make it as simple as possible so you can get your head around it. And the tools that we're going to use for it, if we go to map, you'll find down here under UV textures a tool called uh, ABF UV Unwrap and I only discovered that about a week ago it's been around since 11.5 uh, I believe along with about another five or six tools which I'll do a separate video on um, I'll be showing you one very soon uh, one new little tool that I've discovered that just makes things so much easier so we're going to be using the ABF UV Unwrap as well as Clear Map um, now along with that, I've just created my own tab here because I like to keep things all together when I'm doing repetitive sort of stuff. I'm going to be also using a couple of um, third party plugins called PLG Relax and PLG Pack. And if you go and do a, a uh, Google search for PLG UV and click on the topmost link, it'll take you to Lightwave's database. Click on PLG Tools and there's a link here that uh, goes straight to their website. I'll um, post a link in the description. Now the two plugins you want to get are UV Map Relaxation Plugin and UV Charts Packing Plugin. So download those and install them. Now the idea of this tutorial is to show you how to create UV maps of um, complex objects I guess with I guess multiple parts in a single layer or multiple parts spread over a number of layers for example if I go over to here and I'll just change my view <clears throat> as you can see in this um, example I've got this armor for a um, robot and it's only one single layer and we've got one UV map with a whole host of parts that have been mapped all in one UV map. As well as that, you can also do the same thing. However, in this case, we've got um, objects over uh, three layers. But it doesn't really matter if they're in multiple layers because when we bring them all together, um, we've created one UV map that we can use one texture. Here's that new tool that I was one of the new tools that I was telling you about. If you go to selection and you check it out here, it's called Pick Surface. I've made a um, shortcut to the X key, but if you press the in this case my shortcut X, um, you can see now the cursor as it passes over the polygons it highlights each polygon and it gives the name of it so basically you can just click on that it opens up the surface editor hit the X again deselect and now you're on that surface so it's a really really quick way I mean it comes in extremely handy when you've got multiple objects with multiple surfaces so basically with this UV map what I can do then is create a texture for it and in this case, which one I'll use the police one. Okay, and there you go. So if I bring up that map, oops, you can see, I'll just turn the UV off. There's a texture that I created in Photoshop, which pretty much, well, it exactly fits um, under the UV. And as you can see here, the whole armor is textured perfectly using one image. So how do we go about using ABF Unwrap or ABF UV Unwrap? Basically the way it's done is that we need to let Lightwave know which part of the object we want to have unwrap in, in and in which direction. Now for example with this box this is a front facing um, polygon so this is going to be facing the camera so basically I want everything to unwrap around or to the side of it so that it creates a nicer transition from the front to the side or from the front to the top 
keeping all and if and, and, and any seams towards the back. So basically what you do is in edge mode we select the edges that we want to have split and not select the edges that we want to have I suppose a hinge. Now to give you a better idea of what I'm talking about if we go over to layout as you can see here I've created the box to give a visual representation the green lines obviously represent the edge selection and um, we're telling the um, software that we want these polygons to be temporarily I guess or, or virtually unwelded and as you can see here I've placed images of a hinge, piano hinge these edges aren't selected so these act as a hinge or a pivot for these other panels to wrap around so let's have a look what happens when we hit the ABF UV unwrap so if I go through the animation you'll see this is pretty much exactly what happens when we make a UV map